Hello everybody, my name is Ed. I'm in my armchair and the smoking lamp is lit. And today we're going to be talking about Stanwell pipes. This one here is number 96. I'm smoking my favorite philosopher from Tinderbox. Um, and then that's just a little extra. Hey, I just got this guy right here. Sure, you probably can't tell what it is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But anyway, obviously it's a Zippo, but it's from the USS Benjamin Stoddard, DDG-22. That was the ship that I was on in the Navy. So I used to have a Zippo when I was in the Navy and used it. I have no idea what happened to it. And uh, I saw this and decided it's been 50 years. I need another one. So that's it. But now I want to take you to a little extra place in this room of stuff. <laughs> um, so hold on. We're going to move a little bit. Okay, everybody. We're other little grouping of my pipes, but this display is mainly, well, was completely all of the Stanwell pipes that I have. And within those, I have, and this is probably the only thing I really collect, because um, I have plenty of Canadians, I have, you know, Meersums, the church wardens, you know, and I just get those as I like them. But for collecting, the new thing that I am collecting is the pipes that were designed by Sexton Everson. And I'll talk about him a little bit later. Um, he was basically the godfather of pipe makers. He's listed legendary pipe maker. And so I have about 15 of his pipes that he designed. But what I'm going to talk to you about is this guy. This guy. And this guy. So if we can go back to my armchair. We'll talk. Okay. So we're back. And as I kind of said, I really don't collect. I find pipes that I look at, like, and get them. Except for the Sexton Everson pipes. Sexton Everson is, as a pipe maker, designer, is truly listed as legendary. Um, a lot of people call him the godfather of the modern day pipe making. Um, just his techniques and the new way of drilling a hole and everything. Uh, a Danish pipe maker. So I had heard about him through Bear Pipe. Then I started looking a little bit more. I had some Stanwells at the time, but I, it intrigued me. It ends up I had a couple of his pipes anyway. So now I have about 15 of, oh, heaven knows how many, it's over 50 different designs that he did um, for Stanwell. And he was the first designer for Stanwell. So most of his pipe numbers are low. This one right here is number four. And it's just very nice, but you'll notice it's a little bit very nice pipe. I love it. Got it, cleaned it up. And it is, it just smokes great. I love it. Next one on that I'm going to show you is this guy. This is actually 
one of my newer acquisitions. And the main reason I jumped on this besides um, having the big bowl, which I really love. Um, in fact, my one of my favorite pipes would be a pot that would be a little bit shorter than this. But I do like the big bowls. But this is number 13, which happens to be my lucky number. And I'll explain that in future videos. Um, but number 13, so I got that. This pipe had a time when I, uh, it was probably the perfect storm for pipe smoking. I was going to smoke this pipe. I got the Mississippi River rum barrel aged tobacco. I put that in and it just must have been the perfect packing of it, whatever. But I usually am in my armchair and I'm like watching a movie. And I lit this just at the beginning of a movie. Had the char lit, light, and then the next. And I don't clench and just kind of, I'm sitting here usually like this, watching a movie, just puffing away pretty steady. Anyway, that movie was about an hour and 40 minutes, something like that. And really about an hour and a half into that movie, I'm realizing this finally went out after at least an hour and a half without any relights, without any putting the pipe cleaner in. The, it just was everything, the perfect, you know, moisture level, whatever, almost like a freak accident. Now the big bubble pipes, I do smoke for about an hour, you know, an hour and a half, something like that. The pot's a little bit less, but I like that. It was great. And I love this pipe. So that's another Sexton Everson pipe. And this one, this guy here was like the second pipe that I got. Once I decided I'm going to collect them. So at that time I already had a few. Um, this guy, for example. Um, but this is number 11. This I got from eBay. And it was probably the most nasty pipe I've ever dealt with. The stem to get all the oxygenation off of that was quite a lot of work and polishing it up and looking at nice. Completely just had to scrub off all the stain. So put on a new stain. This was one of the ones when I was first starting to stain. So I might strip this down and try and get a little bit more of the, you know, uh, the grain involved in sand it, but maybe not. You see, it has a nice little curve to it. It's not just the straight. It, uh, no, see that? So, I also had so much cake on this guy that I use a Castleford. Oh, I have a bunch of different reamers, but I hit the Castleford. Barely put in the smallest one. It got in and started cleaning it out. Then the next size, the third side, and the final fourth. Used all four of them, cleaning it out. And then still had to do with a couple other types of um, reamers to get it all out of there. That is the first time that I've ever had to use all four. Other than my... If, if you listen to my story about my dad's pipes, okay, my dad's pipe were kind of that way, but I had a different type of reamer, so I don't know if that would fit. 
I also retorted this at least three times. It was just filthy, but that meant it was broken in. And now I have this guy and it is truly one of my best smokers. I mean, it's just the joy the smoke out of. Every tobacco that I've tried in this, well, it's not that many tobaccos because I don't want to get some weird ghosting on some of this stuff, has just smoked great. Again, a Sexton Everson. So I gotta, gotta like it. And of course, she has nice designs. This one here is a uh, 37. And I gotta like it. It's a funky little thing. It's obviously a sitter. And this pipe that I was smoking earlier, look at the design of this. Definitely funky, and I have to kind of put it in a special holder because it doesn't fit like anything <laughs> you can have. But anyway, I thought you'd, I'd give you a nice little continual tour of my pipes. So I thank you for your time, and we'll get back to you again. Anyway, don't you just hate it when you have a sitter that doesn't sit? This guy's a poker, kind of. Unless I manipulate it, it doesn't stay forward. It's like a sitter that doesn't sit, a poker that doesn't poke. I hate that, you know? Thank you for joining me. Remember to subscribe so that I know who you are. See what's going on out there. And if you don't like, remember you're not going to get to heaven. So anyway, may your smoking lamp always be lit. And be safe out there.